Electrochemistry is actually a pretty old field, and people came across electrochemical related effects for many, many years. The first example would be corrosion. People came across corrosion for thousands of years. And then, even for batteries, it has a long history. The earliest battery is probably the copper zinc battery by Volta, and that appears in appeared in 1790s. And in terms of major applications for electrochemistry, as we said earlier, the first major application would be for energy storage conversion by batteries or fuel cells and other electrochemical devices. Here, of course, we saw batteries, different type, different shape and sizes. We'll talk about more in a later part of this class. Electrochemistry is also the foundation for electrolytic production of many important chemicals and materials. For example, in the chlorine uh, industry, the production of chlorine gas as well as sodium hydroxide is typically go, going through electrochemical reaction. Here we listed the underlying chemical reaction that is for chlorine and sodium hydroxide production. And you see the, pro the reactant is sodium chloride dissolved in water and the product involves sodium hydroxide solution, chlorine gas, as well as hydrogen gas. Okay. And we'll later talk about how to understand such an elect um, reaction further from electrochemistry point of view. But of course, when you write any chemical reaction, keep in mind that you have to keep so-called mass balance, which means for each of the atom, the number of atoms should be the same. For example, on the left side, we have two sodium. On the right side, we should also have two sodium. On the left side, we have two chlorine. On the right side, we also should have two chlorine. On the left side, we have two times two for hydrogen. On the right side, we have two plus two also for hydrogen. On the left side, we have two oxygen. And on the right side, we also have two oxygen. So that's so-called a mass balance. Any chemical reaction has to satisfy mass balance. And in terms of charge, it also has to be balanced. But here, left side is the net charge is zero, right side is also zero. Okay, we'll go back to this uh, reaction, these types of reaction further in later part of this course. Electrochemistry is also the foundation for electrolytic production of very important metals such as aluminum. Here we give a schematic for uh, electrolytic production of aluminum. And because it's electrochemistry based, we would have so-called electrodes. And here you see anode where oxidation happens and cathode where reduction is happening. Okay, because reduction is happening, you have the cathode is negatively charged while the anode is positively charged. Okay, electron would flow from the cathode into the material and the product would be liquid aluminum. Liquid aluminum, okay, in here. And of course, because aluminum is highly reactive, people quite often would use so-called a gas scrubber. People would put inert gas and remove the oxidizing uh, species using going through so-called a gas scrubber. And the feed would be alumina, alumina, which is essentially aluminum oxide, Al2. O3. And the liquid aluminum, you carry out this whole production process at temperature higher than the melting temperature of 
aluminum metal and uh, the produced aluminum would be in a liquid state but it's metal liquid state is still conducting that is what allowing the electrolytic reaction to occur and the liquid aluminum will be fed into different uh, shapes of mold to give off as different aluminum products for example ingots different shaped of ingots um, blocks and with ingots and blocks we can later roll them into aluminum sheet so-called sheet metal okay uh, electrochemistry as we said is also the underlying principle for production of both important chemicals such as sodium hydroxide or many important uh, metals especially active metals such as aluminum electrochemistry is also the foundation for some important uh, processing such as electroplating or electro deposition for example you see many metals we want to plate let's say copper over some other metals or electro deposition in electro electronics industry we need to deposit metal especially copper onto the circuits and those quite often go through electro deposition process electrochemistry is also the foundation for many different types of sensors one famous example is the glucose sensor that is used for monitoring blood sugar and for people to manage the diabetes condition here is a photo of a typical blood sugar sensor and this test strip at the tip of it you draw a small drop of blood and then this meter pass a small current and measure the concentration of blood sugar or glucose in the system and the underlying principle is still uh, electrochemistry finally electrochemistry can be used from scientific point of view some basic thermodynamic problems properties and quite often it's better or more accurate than some other technique that are based on thermal based measurement